In this session, we shall guide you how to learn C++ and here are the easy steps for us. So the first step, the most important thing to do when learning C++ is to focus on concepts and not get lost in language technical details. So that means at first we should focus on the concepts. If your concept is clear, then depending upon the nature of the application, whatever you are going to develop, you can apply your concepts accordingly. So in our C++ tutorial, we kept this one in our mind. We have tried our level base to share the concepts on C++ so that you should have a broader view so that you can develop the respective application as well. The purpose of learning a programming language is to become a better programmer. The question may be asked that what is the meaning of this better programmer? That is to become more effective at designing and implementing new systems and at maintaining old ones. So that means we should prove ourselves as a better programmer. I can, I, can, I can give you these words that in most of the cases in your life, in your professional career, you will be finding that you are doing or executing change requests. Change request means CR. In short, we usually call it a CR. That means a project is pre-written, the program is pre-developed and you are adding some more features with that respective uh, product, with the respective program. So in those cases, you should have to understand that what is the concept was there pre-existing in the written code and then you should have to find your your places where you are supposed to write more and more codes so that you can bring more features to the respective product. And in your life, you will be getting very few projects which will be a greenfield project. Greenfield means you are starting from the scratch. So most of the projects, whatever we face in our life is the greyfield project. That means we go on adding more features on a pre-existing product. So in those cases, your concept is very much required. Because the previous version of the program might have been written by some other programmers. So they had their own style of writing codes, own style of having the nomenclatures for the variables and functions. So that's why understanding that and then putting your inputs in that code for the improvement is a big challenge for us. C++ supports a variety of programming styles. You can write in the style of Fortran, C, Smalltalk, etc. In any language, each style can achieve its aim effect effectively while maintaining runtime and space efficiency. So this is a very, very important topic. You should write a program where the program code will be having the optimum code. Optimum number of codes must be existing in a final version of your program. Because whenever a program will get executed, it will be loaded in the computer's primary memory. If the program is having lesser code, then obviously during runtime, the program will require lesser memory. And if the program requires lesser memory, that means it is consuming and occupying lesser resources. So that will be a betterment of the code for execution. And obviously, your code should get executed in a very efficient way. So that that execution time, the time complexity of the program should be also minimum. So keeping these aspects, two aspects are there, that is the space complexity, that is the size of the program should be minimum and time complexity, the program should give us the output with minimum time duration. So keeping all these things and having a good concept, good grip over the C++ programming language is a challenge for us and this tutorial is based on that only. Thanks for watching this video.